Welcome to Inspire From Universe. This is a channel to help you to know and inspire from our world. If you think that only we humans are the only ones into colonization, then sorry, you are wrong. Silently, an animal species is responsible for colonization underwater for thousands of miles over millions of years. Are you surprised? Let us explore in this video about it. This underwater colonization is called the coral reefs. Do you know what's a coral reef? It's nothing but a tiny soft-bodied animal called polyps that typically lives within a stony skeleton grouped in large colonies. Coral polyps live on the calcium carbonate exoskeletons of their ancestors adding their own exoskeleton to the existing coral structure. There are four different types of coral reefs. The first one is called the fringing reef. This is the most common reef. This type of shallow reef grows seaward directly from the shore. They form borders along the shoreline and surrounding islands. The second type is called barrier reef. Barrier reefs are similar to fringing reefs in that they also border a shoreline. However, instead of going directly out from the shore, they are separated from land by an expanse of water. Third type is called atolls. Atolls are rings of coral that create protected lagoons and are usually located in the middle of the sea. Atolls usually form when islands surrounded by the fringing reefs sink into the sea, or the sea level rises around them. The final one is called pat reefs. Pat reefs are small. They usually occur between fringing reefs and barrier reefs. Coral polyps have two ways of obtaining food. One is through feeding at night by extending their tentacles to catch plankton, food particles, and small fishes around them. Other way is through the symbiotic algae called zooxanthellae, living inside the corals. This type of algae can produce food through photosynthesis. This algae gives nutrients to feed the corals during the day, while the corals provide the algae shelter. What a great border system happening for thousands of years underwater. When you look at coral reefs, you will definitely be captivated by the beautiful, bright, elegant colors popping through the clear blue water. Do you know from where do they get it? The majority of polyps have clear, transparent bodies over their hard, white skeletons. Since millions of zooxanthellae live inside the tissues of these polyps, the chlorophyll pigment in zooxanthellae algae gives its green or brown color. Corals may change their colors like blue, violet, red, etc. based on the light intensity, sensitivity, and temperature. Hence, we can see a spectacular wide range of colors. Friends, coral reefs are special for so many reasons other than just bright colors. This plays a vital role in the underwater ecosystem. It's often called as the rainforest of the sea. About 25% of the ocean's animals depend on these healthy coral reefs to survive. Coral reefs protect coastlines from storms and erosion, provide jobs for local communities, and offer opportunities for recreation. Over half a billion people depend on reefs for food, income, new medicines, and protection. Fishing, diving, and snorkeling on and near reefs add hundreds of millions of dollars to local businesses. These ecosystems are culturally important to indigenous people around the world. Corals have long been popular as souvenirs for home decor and in jewelry, but many consumers are unaware that these beautiful structures are made by living creatures. The more we encourage using it, we ourselves are becoming part of spoiling the core of underwater ecosystems. In fact, due to various factors, coral reefs are dying already at an alarming rate.
Do you know where's the world's largest coral reef system? The world's largest reef system is located in Coral Sea off the coast of Queensland in Australia. It's nothing but the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef, composed of over 2,900 individual reefs and 900 islands over an area of approximately 344,400 square kilometers, stretching for over 2,300 kilometers. This can be clearly seen from space too. This is more than 20 million years old. It is home to an incredible diversity of species like whales, dolphins, turtles, sea snakes, and more than 1,500 species of fish, etc. The famous alien-like nautilus found in Great Barrier Reef is a distant cousin to the squid. But what makes this creature unique is that this appears to have remained relatively unchanged for the last 500 million years. Because of all these reasons, it's no wonder that this massive underwater colony, the Great Barrier Reef, is one of the top tourist attractions in Australia. Subscribe, share, like, and comment Inspire From Universe! Until we meet again with yet another interesting video, take care and bye friends!